Hi everybody! Welcome to Storytime with Fairfield County Library. My name is Mistina and I am so excited for Storytime today. Are you guys ready? Okay, awesome. Our theme this week is road trips. That means this week we are going to be reading books that are all about long car trips for vacation or to visit family. Okay, we're reading Are We There Yet Daddy by Virginia Walters, illustrated by S.D. Schindler and published by Viking Press. Going to my grandma's house, it's so far away. Going to my grandma's house, we're going today. Put the map in my lap, it will show the way. Are we there yet, Daddy? Daddy says, no. How much farther do we have to go? Just look at the map, son. Then you will know we have a hundred more miles to go. Are we there yet, Daddy? Daddy says, no. How much farther do we have to go? Just look at the map, son, then you will know. We have 90 more miles to go. Racing with a freight train, count the cars real fast. Racing with a freight train, wave as it goes past. The engineer signals clear and gives the horn a blast. Are we there yet, Daddy? Daddy says, no. How much farther do we have to go? Just look at the map some, then you will know. We have 80 more miles to go. Going on a bumpy road, a long way out of town. Going on a bumpy road, I'm bouncing up and down. Bounce high, bounce low, bounce fast, bounce slow. Uh-oh, I see Dad frown. Are we there yet, Daddy? Daddy says, no. How much farther do we have to go? Just look at the map, son, then you will know. We have 70 more miles to go. Going over bridges where rapid rivers flow. Going over bridges, priests tell me if you know. Why do currents whirl and ripples curl? And where does the water go? Are we there yet, Daddy? Daddy says, no. How much farther do we have to go? Just look at the map, son, then you will know. We have 60 more miles to go. Going through a forest, tall trees all around. Going through a forest, shadows on the ground. An autumn breeze blows falling leaves of red and gold and brown. Are we there yet, Daddy? Daddy says, no. How much farther do we have to go? Just look at the map, son, then you will know. We have 50 more miles to go. Entering a tunnel that isn't very wide. Entering a tunnel, it's really dark inside. This could be where secretly the dinosaurs still hide. Are we there yet, Daddy? Daddy says, no. How much farther do we have to go? Just look at the map, son, then you will know. We have 40 more miles to go.
Stopping at a mini mart to get a bite to eat. Stopping at a mini mart, I get an ice cream treat. Dad gets upset because I get some chocolate on the seat. Are we there yet, Daddy? Daddy says no. How much farther do we have to go? Just look at the map, son, then you will know. We have 30 more miles to go. Going through a rainstorm, windshield wipers swishing. Going through a rainstorm, raindrops splashy splishing. Lightning flashes, thunder crashes. Now I'm rainbow wishing. Are we there yet, Daddy? Daddy says, no. How much farther do we have to go? Just look at the map, son, then you will know. We have 20 more miles to go. Going fast past other cars with their motors roaring. Going slow past other cars. This is getting boring. It's hard to keep from going to sleep and I hear Bitsy snoring. Are we there yet, Daddy? Daddy says, no. How much farther do we have to go? Just look at the map, son. Then you will know we have just 10 more miles to go. Going down some quiet streets, passing by a park. Going down some quiet streets, it is getting dark. The town clock chimes so many times that it makes Bitsy bark. Are we there yet, Daddy? Daddy says, yes. We don't have farther to go, I guess. Stopping at an old house, I start to wave and cheer. I'm glad the trip is over, it seemed to take a year. Then Betsy jumps out, I run and shout, Grandma, we're finally here. All right, that was Are We There Yet, Daddy? Did you guys like it? What'd you think? All right, this book is The Relatives Came by Cynthia Ryland, illustrated by Stephen Gamble, published by Anthium Books for Young Readers. It was in the summer of the year when the relatives came. They came up for Virginia. They left when their grapes were nearly purple enough to pick, but not quite. They had an old station wagon that smelled like a real car, and in it they put an ice chest full of soda pop and some boxes of crackers and some bologna sandwiches. And up they came from Virginia. They left at four in the morning when it was still dark before even the birds were awake. They drove all day long and into the night, and while they traveled along, they looked at the strange houses and different mountains, and they thought about their almost purple grapes back home. They thought about Virginia, but they thought about us too, waiting for them. So they drank up, 
all their pop and ate up all their crackers and traveled up all those miles until finally they pulled into our yard. Then it was hugging time. Talk about hugging. Those relatives just passed us all around their car, pulling us against their wrinkled Virginia clothes, crying sometimes. They hugged us for hours. Then it was into the house and so much laughing and shining faces and hugging in the doorways. You'd have to go through at least four different hugs to get from the kitchen to the front room. Those relatives. And finally, after a big supper, two or three times around until we all got a turn at the table, there was a quiet talk and we were in twos and threes throughout the house. The relatives weren't particular about beds, which was good since there weren't any extras. So a few squeezed in with us and the rest slept on the floor, some with their arms thrown over the closest person or some with an arm across one person and a leg across another. It was different going to sleep with all that new breathing in the house. The relatives stayed for weeks and weeks. They helped us tend the garden and they fixed any broken thing they could find. They ate up all our strawberries and melons then promised we could eat up all their grapes and peaches when we came to Virginia. But none of us thought about Virginia much. We were so busy hugging and eating and breathing together. Finally, after a long time, the relatives loaded up their ice chests and headed back to Virginia at four in the morning. We stood there in our pajamas and waved them off in the dark. We watched the relatives disappear down the road. Then we crawled back into our beds that felt too big and too quiet. We fell asleep. And the relatives drove on, all day long and into the night. And while they traveled along, they looked at the strange houses and different mountains, and they thought about their dark purple grapes waiting at home in Virginia. But they thought about us too, missing them. And they missed us. And when they were finally home in Virginia, they crawled into their silent, soft beds and dreamed about the next summer. Okay, that was The Relatives Cave.
What did you guys think? Did you like it? Did you not? Tell me about it. All right, everybody, thank you for coming to story time. Now, just because we're done reading does not mean we have to be done with story time. If you come down to the library week this week, you can pick up a story time kit, which are these fun-filled activity kits that we made to go with the books you read today. Each kit comes with a coloring sheet, a recipe, and a craft that you can make. This week, our craft is this little cardboard tube race car. It's even got movable wheels and a little steering wheel. It's pretty cool. To get a kit, you need to come to the Fairfield County Library and look for some crates in the children's section. Now, we have two crates, one for Mondays and one for Wednesdays. So, you wanna make sure to grab the right kits or you could end up with something completely different from what I showed you. The kits for this story time are in the group B crate. They're the blue ones. New kits come out whenever there's a new story time, but we might have some kits left from last week if you missed it. It never hurts to ask one of the librarians if there's any left. Maybe ask for me, Miss Nina. Okay, everybody, thank you for joining me for story time. Once again, my name is Miss Nina, and I hope to see you in the library this week to pick up a story time kit. It's time to say goodbye, but I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye!